Thanks for coming along as we shared stories of female race boat drivers from history. We're closing out Women's History Month with a rapid-fire edition of the series, highlighting several more racers. Lady Violet Aiken caught the offshore racing bug while driving with her husband during a Miami race. She enjoyed it so much that she purchased her own racing vessel, named Ultraviolet. She was known as the First Lady of Offshore Racing. Later, she was the First Woman Chancellor of the University of New Brunswick and actively involved in charity pursuits. Her granddaughter has carried on the racing tradition, racing her own boat, the Lady Vi. Next up is Betty Cook. In the 1970s, American Betty Cook began racing at the age of 56. She became the first woman to win the Powerboat World Championship in 1977. She won again in 1979 and won 17 races in her career. In addition to the two world championships, she won the nationals three times. Lastly, Fiona Gore, Countess of Iran, became interested in speedboating and racing when she was a passenger on the Miss England 3 during its speed trials on Loch Lomond in 1932 at the age of 13. She was known for saying that speed relaxed her. In 1966, she was the first woman competitor in the Paris Six Hours Circuit Marathon on the Seine, finishing 14th out of 90. She helped design three point hydroplanes and she continued to race and set records, never finishing below third in a series of 12 races. In 1980, at the age of 62, Gore became the fastest woman on water, traveling 102 miles per hour, a feat for which she won the Seagrave Trophy. She announced her retirement in 1981.